So today we're going to go over how to use D2 armor picker in Destiny 2 so you can optimize your armor without having to do thousands of combinations manually, which is genuinely impossible to do for all of your builds. What this tool does is go through all of your armor for you and then put the builds together essentially so you don't have to do a lot of math to figure out what you need to have say triple 100s or quad 100s for your stats so for example if i want a build that has 100 mobility and 100 resilience i just select those options we'll pick 100 discipline too just because we can and it'll provide all of these options now there's 27 pages of options but i'm going to show you how to reduce these and actually use them in the game first thing you want to do is go ahead and make sure you have your desired character selected we're going to use my hunter as the example today just ignore my lack of materials i haven't been playing that much and just doing a bunch of weird stuff so let's get into it so for this example we're going to assume that i want to make a celestial nighthawk build because it's really good this season since it's buff so what you'll do we'll go down into this armor selection tab down here to select the exotic armor piece that we want to use for the build so we'll just click celestial nighthawk and it'll filter everything out so that all these builds now involve your celestial nighthawk then what you'll do is you determine what stats you want to prioritize and as you select through your stats that you want to achieve it will gray out the options so you know what is available to you so for this build i obviously want to have 100 resilience and as you can see when i picked the 100 resilience prioritization it took away 90 recovery and 100 recovery as well as 100 intellect because i don't have armor pieces that let me fit that prioritization so let's also say i want to have 100 mobility it'll filter it further down just to make it a little bit easier for you we will also use 100 discipline just so we can say triple 100s and as you can see these are the only two possible builds i have with my current armor in my vault and on my character that will let me have these desired stats over here now you can filter it further and select the rest of these and as you can see when i went to 30 strength it took away 30 intellect also don't make fun of my armor okay and once your build is generated by the tool you can literally click this you can click this drop down arrow which will open up the options and you'll literally just click move items to inventory or equipped items these are both listed as beta features but it has worked genuinely fine for me every single time that i've used it pretty much as long as you have the space on your character to move the items around so that's just like the nuts and bolts of it this is the simplest way to use it now what you also want to pay attention to is you want to scroll down to this stat boost selection down here on the left side and you want to pick the correct fragments that you're using in your build mainly just the ones that affect your stats so ember of benevolence will take away our build for 100 discipline and then we change it to 90 and then we can have it back since we're losing 10 discipline from the fragment make sure you have the correct subclass selected whenever you're going through this as well but that's kind of the nuts and bolts of it so let's kind of go over some of the extra stuff so as you can see in my results tab i have some extra modifiers thrown on here so these are pretty much just assumptions that go into your builds whenever it's generating these so they're assuming that you want to have an exotic armor piece in your build which this should always be on anyway because if you're not using an exotic armor piece are you even playing destiny 2 bro so the reduced wasted stats this just basically will pretty much just allows the tool to use minor stat mods instead of only the major ones instead and then the masterwork assumption is something you definitely want to pay attention to because it assumes that you have all of your armor pieces master worked so you get that plus two in every field and then also you're going to have the space for the mods to put in there so kind of some extra advanced settings that are included with this are things like the event so if you're using this during festival of the lost you can click this so it'll make sure it includes your festival of the lost masks that you have and as you can see here this is where you check your master work so this one right here assumes all your legendary items are master work all your exotic items are master work and all of your class items are master worked which if you don't have the materials for that or you don't have a lot of master worked armor you can just take that off to make your life a little bit easier so you can see what is achievable for you performance optimization i'm not exactly sure and then this is that filter earlier that allows us to use the minor mods try to optimize wasted stats but that's kind of just a brief overview of destiny 2 armor picker it's not a super deep dive down into it because honestly i don't even know the most advanced techniques of using it i just know how to make big stats go burr if you're looking for a good explanation on how to get better armor you can just go ahead and drop a comment i'll try and make a video about that probably a short or a shorter length form video or one of the creators who already has a lot of content on this is quad king over on tiktok see you guys next time